Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are building another modern family home, which is inspired by like a farmhouse style. And we're also building in Del Sol Valley once again, as it's one of my favorite spaces to build in. And yeah, it's built on a much more like smaller lot. So I got suggested to build on more 50 by 40 lots, 50 by 50 lots, because, you know, it's more like accessible and like, um, realistic to build on smaller lots yeah i feel like it makes sense to build on small lots here and there i just feel like it's a bit more useful and like versatile you can use it in more lots and stuff like that throughout majority of the worlds in the game because i feel like there's not a lot of 64 by 64 lots so yeah i just feel like i'm going to take that into consideration and just like create more smaller lots but yeah i hope you guys are all having a great day so far uh, as you guys can see from this uh build like although it's on like a small lot it's not you know small by any means at all like it's quite a huge home and i believe it has about like five bedrooms and about like five or six bathrooms i kind of made all of the bedrooms have an ensuite which is kind of like a typical typical thing that i do to be honest like i always try to include an ensuite in my bedrooms i don't know why it's just like a simple thing that i like doing i just feel like it's really realistic for like a modern family home i don't know like let me know what you guys think about that uh for play like for playability wise i feel like it's also like easy for the sims to have like their own bathrooms rather than having to walk all the way across the entire home to get somewhere because by the time they go somewhere it's past like a few hours anyway so you know might as well have an ensuite to each of the bedrooms which makes it like easier to play with but then again i feel like it does kind of make the game boring in the sense that it's a bit too perfect like i know my house my homes are like quite realistic but it's also like it makes the gameplay more easier if that makes sense but i feel like the houses that i build of a more like late game build if that makes sense like while you're like more rich and like living like a more wealthy lifestyle you don't technically have to be a celebrity when you're playing with my builds like i don't build in del sol valley for that reason i just build it because like i like seeing i like seeing like big homes and like visualizing uh like the exterior architecture that is i just love the way it looks to be honest which is why like you can see throughout this entire build i incorporated like different like bits that like poke out and stuff like that different like places to like and they all have purposes in the sense that like most of them are like fireplaces and stuff and yeah i just feel like within this home i feel like i utilize the space quite well and i'm really happy with the floor plan and like the layout and stuff you guys will see that as we move into the interior later on but yeah just finishing up with the exterior for now i utilize like a bunch of different wallpapers and textures so i have a bunch of like white brick as well as like some black concrete as well as like some white wood paneling on the exterior which i just like you know i just utilize just to like add a few mixes into like not making it all like plain and white if that makes sense and yeah i also included some like nice plain um wood textures throughout the home so like i made some of like the roof skirts or like the roof trims have some like nice uh like light brown like paneling if that, if you want to call it that i'm not even sure what it's called but yeah and i also used um some columns that came from the horse ranch pack which i feel like just worked perfectly with like the colors that were on top of the roof anyway and i utilized a very nice eco lifestyle uh roofing texture so it's like the honeycomb one but yeah i just feel like it fit this modern home really nicely and i was kind of looking for like a, a black roof that wasn't too dark if that makes sense like i didn't want it to be like too blinding because the base game roofing is really nice i actually wanted to use that initially but it was just way too dark and it just made the home look a bit too dark which is not what i wanted but i did obviously want to include like some dark elements as you could see from like that specific like black bit that pokes out which is actually where the living room is and yeah i also used uh, most of my windows from horse ranch from the horse ranch pack as well as you guys can see like the small like square one with the x in the middle but yeah like i just feel like it just worked well with the space to be honest and although the garage is not like really functional i did try to add like some workstations and workbenches inside of it which you know compensates for i mean like it's kind of like better than having an empty space if that makes sense and yeah just adding simple windows here and there i also use the high school years um get in and get out window because i don't know i just find it very versatile despite it not like actually being functional because i kind of use it on the second floor and your sims are supposed to get out of it but yeah i don't use it in for, for its functionality i don't really like using that for its functionality i mainly use it because 
I don't know. It just looks nice. It just look. It just looks like a simple, plain, modern window, and like the way it opens up is realistic. You know, like the other windows are nice as well, but they just, you know, they they don't they have no functionality, and you can tell. So yeah, I just wanted to use. That's why I wanted to use a window that was functional, but also like look nice. And yeah, I just repeated the same column thingy uh, design on the back, adding the same like horse ranch pack ones, and I kind of like the way the column like has those like little edges when it meets like uh, one of those like side things i forgot what they're called but yeah i, I like that design it's, it's like a good attention to detail and yeah this home is quite large as i mentioned before but like i feel like it's it's it's, it's like the perfect size you know like there's no like big empty spaces and i feel like i utilize the space really well and yeah like you could see like from the from the exterior right now like how big it is to be honest but yeah moving on to the inside i just placed my saucer lights like usual obviously these saucer lights are temporary most of them as i don't really like having too many saucer lights although they light up the space really well i kind of like want to use it like strategically in the sense that it's not like all over the place because i don't know i just don't like you know having like too many like dots on the screen but yeah i just i do replace some of them with like actual lighting that was kind of just like to make some light in the space and yeah i was trying to create this like new f um stairs design and then my game crashed and gave me like a system error thingy once it showed me that little system error red bubble it just the game crashed immediately which meant that it brought me back to my last save which was when i was doing the front of the home so yeah i had to do, basically like go over and do exactly what i just did uh to the back of the home all over again because it kind of crashed but yeah it's not a big deal i mean like I do that's the that's literally the reason why I save almost like every single second because it always crashes for some reason but yeah not always to be honest I kind of exaggerate but that was just one instance where like I was trying to make something unique and then it completely crashed I don't even know why but yeah I might I might solve it later but oh well but yeah this was the design that I was thinking of doing for these stairs which is like it's like a double stairs when going up but then like halfway through it turns into like a singular side stairs so yeah i've just thought that was kind of like interesting i was kind of going off of a floor plan when i was building this so i, I was kind of like visualizing like what a realistic space would look like so like i made this, like each space like realistically the the same size and yeah that's why i feel like this home is like really realistic in the sense that like all the spaces make sense like there's no space that kind of like sticks out or like is kind of random it all kind of just like flows together which i feel like is one of my better floor plans um uh, of all of the homes that i build this one is kind of like the perfect one because like you know not everything is too like far away from each other and like yeah i just feel like it's very cohesive and it makes sense and yeah just using some simple dream home decorator black doors and i believe this uh, home has its master bedroom downstairs like on this wing of the home which i don't know if you guys like if you guys want to switch that up you can like go for it but i don't know i just kind of like class it as a master bedroom because it had its own ensuite that kind of like led into its own like wardrobe and i don't know if i like that idea like even in real life like realistically having your wardrobe be connected to your bathroom and you can only access it if you pass your bathroom i don't know like I do, I, I do get why they do it and I feel like that is um, a solution for a lot of big homes who want to have a walk-in wardrobe but don't have a lot of space but yeah like I don't know like let me know what you guys think about that because I don't know I just I just do it because like it looks kind of cool plus like you make a whole separate room for a closet but it's not actually going to get utilized so I was like what's really the point in doing that you know and yeah, I just went around like and cleaned up the roofing that was sticking out into the interior because that's kind of annoying. Like it kind of, it does kind of happen quite often, and I don't know why it does actually. But yeah, I just go around and clean up and like I add extra roof pieces if I need to and just like make it like shorter on each edge if I need to. But yeah, I kind of had to deal with that because I wanted like a big opening space for the stairs like landing place because like realistically if you if there was a ceiling on top of that you, your sims will not be able to use it so yeah i just removed that ceiling which i think messed up the ceiling when you're looking from like the first floor upwards but yeah i can i would i'll go and fix that before uploading it onto the gallery because you know it's, it's it, it doesn't look that great when you're like in gameplay view and then you like look up it doesn't but like realistically you're not going to be in that 
um, camera angle for a very long time nor ever at all to be honest unless you're like taking pictures of like the home and stuff but yeah i just added some like columns and stuff in with like within the house as well as like spandrels yes that was the name that i was forgetting earlier that was when i was talking about the outdoor like patio area but yeah like the spandrels kind of like the wooden spandrels that like connect to the columns i like the way it looks like in between it looks very detailed and like yeah i just like the way it looked so i just incorporated that within the build and it kind of like fits with like the and it kind of fits with the farmhouse style that i was going for and yeah here is the start of like the kitchen like we're actually starting to get into the interior now um i did kind of like incorporate like the same thing that i kind of do in like most of my builds which is like the plain like bright timber floors that came with eco lifestyle as well as like the plain walls but yeah i just i just feel like it's realistic you know it's like something that I just feel like it's something that a lot of people would like and yeah I just feel like it's what you would expect in like a dream like family like modern farmhouse home so yeah which is why I kind of like went with it and I kind of incorporated a various um, types of packs for this um, kitchen as I used the island living counters for like the island pieces for the middle I used a home chef hustle pack for the uh, like for the fridge area that kind of looks like built in into the wall because I wanted that like functionality of it making it seem like as if it was like built in and that pack um, like the fridge fits well with like the counters that came with it which is why I kind of like utilized it and I like the way the waterfall edge looks for the for the island living counters which is why I use those and I also use the dream home decorator pack for the cat the like the main counters that are across like the wall because I don't know I just like the way it looked and I wanted to incorporate all three of those packs into like you know kind of like into like one kitchen but yeah I wanted to replicate the same like kitchen color I just added some like simple plain tiling across the wall as well I used the get famous tiles for the back of that kitchen but like I don't know I it wasn't really what I was going for I was kind of expecting like a more well I was wanting a more like bigger brick like rectangular bricks but it wasn't brick, it was tiling. But yeah, I couldn't find one that actually looked like tiling. Play will kind of look like brick. So yeah, I just resorted to using the ones that came with Get Famous. And I was trying to experiment and like add new and unique furniture pieces, as it's like you saw with like the dining table chairs. I wanted like these bubble seats that were like see-through and like plasticky looking that had like metal around it. But it just didn't end up working out because I don't know it just it just wasn't looking right it wasn't fit in this home i kind of thought like it would fit with like the glass that was like in the middle of this table like the wooden table but i don't know it just wasn't working out well so i just ended up skipping that i added like a accent wall uh within this dining area and yeah this home is like very open floor plan in the sense that like there's not a lot of rooms unless it comes to like private rooms like your bedroom and bathroom and like like, a, I even, like, added a laundry room in here. I, I believe I have two. I have one downstairs as well as, like, another one upstairs. But, yeah, I try to, like, make it as open floor plan as possible because that's just kind of, like, what I think of when I think of, like, modern homes and stuff. And, yeah, I just added these, like, decor to the max. I believe it's from decor to the max. Uh, the curtains. As I just feel like it worked well and, like, they kind of look realistic, to be honest. And, yeah, I, just, I was just, like, sizing certain, um, not sizing, but, like, replacing the windows like whenever needed just to make it like fit better with the curtains because i really did want to use them as they look the most realistic to me in my opinion and yeah this is like the main middle part of the home and this is where i incorporated the living room so i used the book nook kit uh seating the two seaters because i just felt like they kind of look like the most like realistic to me in my opinion because like they, they kind of just look like custom content, even though it's not, but it does look like pretty realistic to me. I just don't like how the actual like part of the couch is like, like hanging out a bit too much from the actual seating, like frame thingy, which, you know, I mean, I kind of like had no other choice really, because I couldn't really find anything else that I really wanted to put here besides those. Um, I can't, I, there is another seating that I use in like most of my builds, but I just didn't want to do the exact same thing over and over. And most of the time I do use the Dream Home Decorator modular sofa pieces, but for this time, I just didn't want an L-shaped couch. So yeah, I just left it as that. You'll see throughout this entire build, there's 
quite a lot of like accent walls in the sense that I just wanted some like pop of color here and there. And I know this like I literally just said like pop of color and I just put like a black um wooden tiled wall. Um but like I mean as in like most some of the bedrooms and stuff have their own color um styles and stuff like that and I stuck to those with the accent walls as well so yeah I just I, but I did like try to make sure to add like some color here and there although I don't really like adding color here and there I did um add some stuff here and there for this build like you can see like the lighting I did change it to be like a more modern one rather than using the saucer lights or everywhere and I made sure that like the colors from that match the colors from the tv screen like the painting tv screen which is a fake tv that looks like kind of like a painting and yeah this is kind of like the overall look of the living room and i do end up adding a carpet under the living room like area but i just don't show it like immediately i kind of like go back to it after the, doing a few of my bedrooms and yeah here is the master bedroom that i was talking about which has like its own like ensuite and stuff like that ideally this would be like the master bedroom realistically because it just like looks the most appealing to live in and it's kind of like the biggest one and as i was mentioning like in my previous videos i feel like master bedrooms on the first floor are starting to become like a more common thing and i feel like it's just because like you just have more accessibility to like other areas of the home more quickly whereas like the top floor you have to like just put more effort into it to be honest and like i just that's why i feel like people in real life are starting to have their like master bedrooms downstairs more often and yeah just like a simple a walk-in closet area here nothing too special i did just use like the deco uh dream home decorator like uh cabinet pieces i don't even know if they're called cabinet pieces but yeah i just added like a bunch of like cabinet pieces like here and there i did try to experiment with like other stuff as you saw like with the, like the glass shelf stuff but it just wasn't working out and i just like kind of like preferred the dream home decorator ones to be honest and yeah, I did make sure that those, like, I did make sure that those, like, cupboard thingies, like, you are able to hang, like, clothes on it. I just didn't do it myself because I feel like anyone who moves in here would be able to, like, put their clothes on there by themselves. They wouldn't, you know, you don't walk into a home, a new home with, like, pre-existing clothes on within a walk-in closet, if that makes sense. But yeah, um, this home actually has three living rooms. This is the third one, which, which is on the second floor. Uh, I don't think I show the first floor living room because it was just taking up a lot of the, like, the speed build. But yeah, it has its like own fireplace and stuff. Most of the living rooms in this build have its own fireplace as well as some of the bedrooms, I believe, which I feel like is like a nice touch for like a nice wealthy home, if that makes sense. And I've recently been using these tiles a lot more in the bathroom. Uh, I don't know, I just feel like they look really nice and they kind of fit with like my contemporary style that I usually do in most of my builds. And if you haven't noticed already, this is kind of like a Jack and Jill bathroom in the sense that either bedroom on either side will be able to utilize this space if they want to go to the bathroom. I don't know if I 100% like the idea of having a Jack and Jill bathroom, but I just feel like it would make um, storytelling or like playing in The Sims more realistic. But within real life, I don't know if I would want something like that in my own home personally because i don't know i just feel like it's a bit invasive and you kind of like want your own space you know like if you want a jack and jewel bathroom you might as well. and like if you don't have space to have like two different en suites for two different bedrooms that are like side by side you might as well just have like one main public bedroom on the second floor that people can access rather than having an en suite that is accessed by two different bedrooms if that makes sense but yeah let me know what you guys think about that because I don't know i personally would not want that maybe it's just like the way i've been brought up and stuff like i have like a i'm, I'm like quite private so i wouldn't want that in my own home but yeah um this is the bedroom that is i think this is the bedroom that is closest to like it's literally above the master bedroom so yeah this one could also be classified as like a, a master bedroom because it has the exact same layout as the bedroom downstairs the only thing different about this is like every single room so like the closet the bathroom as well as the um like the bedroom is all smaller it's just like a few tiles smaller but like it's pretty much the same thing uh but yeah just adding some clutter here and there i did utilize like the same bathroom style throughout the entire home because i just wanted it to be like more realistic you don't you wouldn't have various 
colors and like stuff like that in your bathrooms like bathrooms are pretty plain and simple and empty like they're all like pretty much like the same thing to be honest and like in, even like real life when you're getting your home done you wouldn't get like the same contractor wouldn't put um different bathroom styles or like they will use the same things in like every single bathroom in your home so i just wanted to keep that same like realism within the sims and yeah despite my other bedrooms in this home being a bit more colorful this was kind of like the last bedroom i had to create so i kind of just made it like a nice simple white one which to be honest is fine with me but i just feel like as a viewer like would you prefer more colorful bedrooms or not i'm not sure like because i don't really like putting a lot of color in my bedrooms i just like keeping it simple to be honest or even like adding like a nice like simple like beige color throughout the entire like the wood to wood tones not like the walls and stuff we seem to be coming towards like the end of the speed build i really do hope you guys enjoyed this build let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys are new consider checking out my channel i have various other builds that you guys can check out ranging from commercial lots to residential lots apartments rentals and but yeah let me know what you guys think about this build and i'll see you guys in the next video